one of the big lessons that I feel like I've learned is the 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 truth behind the 80-20 rule, right? And and how powerful that 80-20 rule really is. And when I think of it specifically, what I've seen it play out in my audience base is that when I try to, when I try really hard to market what people need, I have of 100% of, of buyers, 80% won't complete it. Correct. 20% will. Well, 80% probably more won't even buy it. Yeah, that's for sure. That's the first level, right? 80% won't buy it, 20% will. Of the 20% that does buy it, 80% won't finish it, right. 20% will. Now there I have solutions for you. And then, and then, but second to that, at the same time, when I A-B test that against an 80-20 rule, want. what they want, the same mathematical principle reigns out. Of the 100% of people that buy it, 80% don't complete it, 20% do. So- I bring it up not as a, as a lesson for me, as much as something that I have found to be absolutely critical to reaching the point where I am in my business is understanding the mathematical principles, the, the data-driven facts mm. that exist behind sales and marketing, that whether you market to what they want or whether you market to what they need, there may be different conversions at first, but then when it comes to the actual adopters, human behavior reigns out. 80% don't complete it, 20% will. So you have to have a plan for recapturing the 80% that don't complete it because if they don't complete it, they don't get the outcome. Mm -hmm. If they don't get the outcome, you're not changing any lives. So, I mean, the mission of our company is to use spy education to break barriers. So just like you, I am very much in the business of breaking barriers. If we're not breaking barriers, we're not doing business. Sales, sales is sales, right? Money is just a way of counting the number of lives that we're touching because it's very hard to get people to raise their hand and say, you changed my life. You changed my life. It's much easier to be like, we changed a million dollars worth in lives this year. We're going to try to change $3 million in lives next year. Hmm. It's something you can actually measure. But what's fascinating to me is that the, the moral quandary of how you market, what you market, what you sell is oftentimes uh, less relevant than how you drive people towards the outcome that you're trying to get them to achieve. Because once they taste outcome, they become lifetime customers, but you got to get them to outcome first. Yeah. You have to get them to outcome and very quickly. Yes. Yeah. Getting people to outcome quickly is the name of the game. That, that when I said, oh, I have a solution for you there, that's exactly the solution is you have to figure out how to class something, how to get them to feel something as a win very quickly. Um, you probably have 60 minutes. If you don't mm -hmm. get somebody to feel something directionally, obviously you're not going to get them to the final outcome, but if you can get them directionally to feel like, oh, wow, I had a little victory in the right way, pointed in the right direction. Uh, if you can't get that to them quickly, then they just won't stick with it much to my dismay, but such is human nature. Don't be part of the 80% that fail New Year's resolutions by February 1st. Click on the link in the description instead.